know, the thing with modern boats is they tend to be sprayed uh, with chop strand into a mold and not laid up like these older boats. So I'm not too concerned about a lot of this uh, cracking in the gel coat, though it, it could be areas where it's compromised and we'll just have to scrape and sand down even more. And that's where we're at in this process. Here we got it. We have grounded down anywhere there was delamination. And taking it all the way back to where you don't see the layers of the fiberglass breaking apart. The layup is thick. You know, it's not cored with some thin outer skin. So the surface, if there's any sort of blistering, if there's any sort of blistering or gel coat cracks, those are not structural. So I have an idea of what needs to be done to get this to where I can finally paint it. You know, today we're going to be scraping it. After we scrape it, we're going to wash it. Really get it cleaned. We're going to wipe it down with the acetone. That's going to be a very difficult process because if you've ever worked with acetone, you know it, it just it dries so quickly. And there's some al other alternatives, but for right now, we're going to just stick with that. We're going to sand it, grind down the spots. And then glass where we need to, uh, fair, more smaller areas, kind of the pinpoint punctures. So yeah, we're gonna be getting a lot of this off. And we've talked about this before. So after we've sanded and glassed it and cleaned it up, sanded it again, you'll see all of that. We'll need to ferret. A lot of time those can be spent here on the bottom side where we are down to fiberglass. Coming back, I think just wrapping the whole bottom with a layer or two. Coming back on these old sites, getting those cleaned up. Yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even worried about stuff like this. Look at this. Gotta get in there and see what's going on. This is gonna take some more work too. I really like this.
I didn't show wiping down uh, with acetone, but it's really meant to clean out these deeper areas where I'm about to grind it down. This is by far one of the bigger there's water coming actually out of out of here. We saw some we'd hit. We had that one blister. A few things are left to be done though. We need to crawl under the boat and sand away. I just want fresh glass on the bottom. I mean, I'll never be able to do this again.
I mean, I guess if I put it on the hard, but then to shave off all the any foul later, let's just do it now. So climbing underneath here, grinding it down, uh, getting fresh glass, and then just laying up one or two layers there on the bottom. Just fresh glass, smooth it out. But a lot of this is just, I mean, the small stuff will be fair. This will be patched. You can kind of see where it's a little bit of the layer breaking apart. Here is pretty deep. We have this issue, of course. We'll get in here with the Dremel and then thicken epoxy. We need to probably sand this entire side. This is the opposite of the damage under this tea table. Okay, man. Smooth out the rudder. Smooth out my plugs. Another area to still be done where we have the damaged gel coat. I bet if we sand down past the gel coat, we'll see that the damage is into the, its vertical stripes in the fiberglass. It's 100 degrees though, so let's don't get too excited about getting this done. Just one blister though, so I feel good.